Earlier in the series, I went to Top Celebrity Salon in Anch, London to have my own hair extensions fitted. I was incredibly pleased with the results, but to keep my hair as healthy as possible, I now need to have the hair extensions removed. I headed back to In Anch, London to find out how they carry out this process. If you're going to pay to have extensions done professionally, then you should pay to have them professionally removed. And hence why if you remove them properly and professionally, you'll get no damage. Also, not leaving it too long. So it's not just, obviously the removal is important, but some people get them tangled. So the maintenance is very important. So we give all our clients a little maintenance booklet. So it shows them how to maintain the extensions, how to keep them separate from one another. If they become tangled and you then go and remove and the bonds are all stuck together, it's going to take you longer to remove, it's going to take the hairdresser longer to remove them and again rip the hair if they're all tangled. So it's, it's three things in one basically, application is important, maintenance is important and removal is important, then you get no damage whatsoever. We have um, a removal solution by Great Lengths, um, their own um, pliers we call them. Great Lengths removal solution doesn't actually have acetone in it as glue methods need acetone. So if we get a client that comes to us for removal and it's glue, we can't actually remove it with the Great Lengths removal solution because we need acetone. So then we use it, our beautician's acetone, which isn't as safe on the hair. So we always say, do your research, use keratin bonds over glue bonds, um, just because they come out simpler as well without causing damage. You apply the removal solution on the actual bonds of where the keratin was, is, you apply on those bonds and you just clamp with your clamps and it dissolves and then the hair just slips out, making it a lot safer than using glue methods. And we always recommend to clients, don't remove them yourself because you end up ripping your hair out. I think it's usually clients that, clients that have been away for a long period and some, some of the hair gets tangled or for whatever, whatever reason they give us is they do try to remove them because they don't want to be sitting in your chair for an extra hour, especially if they're having removal and application on the same day. They think, oh, instead of sitting in the salon for a day, for an hour, sorry, not a day, it may, ends up being a day if they're doing colour extensions removal. So what they do is they try and take them out while watching TV the night before. So that's always a disaster. You end up with little bald patches because they rip their hair out basically. So we always recommend don't buy removal solutions from other places. Salons by right should not sell the removal solution anyway, but you do get the odd company that sells to their client because the client says, I can't come in to remove them, but we recommend you have it removed professionally. Obviously we love them to come back to us because a lot of the time it, it's so addictive that when you're, when you're going to remove them you automatically are having the application on the same day anyway so you do tend to go back to the same hairdresser but for any reason if you're abroad and you can't come in or anything like that you have to ring up and find out what salons actually do extensions because then they'll be able to remove them safely. If they're not doing extensions they're not going to know how to remove them. I've now had my hair extensions removed. I can't believe how easy that was and how soft my hair feels now. So it really is so important that when you are having hair extensions that you come back to your hairdresser and they remove it safely because my hair feels amazing. It doesn't feel like I've had hair extensions in for four months, that's for sure.